the lines are really useful for making selections. So if I want to select a given area of my drawing, it's pretty easy to do. <clears throat> All I have to do is set my tolerance to something reasonable with my magic wand tool, and I can select uh, like this area for instance, be the tongue of the shoe. Um, make a new layer, mask the layer using the selection, I can hide my lines layer for a second, and now all I have to do in this layer is paint, I'll use my airbrush, I can just paint in some color, now this happens to be green, I don't know why that is, I can fix that though. Now I'm making a little bit of progress here, but um, if we zoom in, you'll see that the edges are pretty bad of these things. They're really rough. The reason the edges are so rough is because we're working at a very low resolution. And when you make these selections uh, using the magic wand at a low resolution, you get the jagginess of these lines coming in with your selections. So um, to fix that, we're just going to have to work at a higher resolution. So uh, that's the beauty of smart objects. I can scrap the... Uh, shading that I've done and start over but this time I'm going to go image image size and right now it's 1600 by 1200 which is a good screen resolution but I need it bigger so I'm going to double it uh, so I'll say 3200 pixels Okay, that's going to be much better resolution, so we should get a much nicer, nicer selection when we're, when we're making our selections. So, let's try that. And actually, here's a little trick. I can put that underneath so I don't have to look at it. Make a new layer that we're going to be painting on. Now, when I want to make a selection, all I have to do is hit the magic wand tool, hit W for magic wand, select the line work layer, and then I can just start making my selections. Now I go back to my other layer, get my airbrush, start painting. And I can hit Apple H or Control H on Windows to uh, hide the selection. So everything is still selected, but I don't have to look at it while I'm working. Make it look a little bit more convincing. That's a little bit too dark, so I can just take it all and um, you know, I could just hit the eraser. Use a big soft, soft eraser. And erase a little bit. I'm, I'm holding Control and Alt, by the way, Control and Option on the Mac, and uh, it's uh, I. I believe it's something similar on the PC. It's a little bit different, but that um, you can dynamically resize the brush with the mouse. Huge deal. Very, very nice. All right. Now I want to add some shadow across the top here. I'm gonna add a little highlight too. something like that.
When I'm ready to select a new area, just click my line work layer, W for wand. Just expand my selection and keep on moving. Just thought I'd give you a little status update as I work. So you can see uh, starting to take a little bit of form here. Select maybe this area, this one, this one, this one, this one. Apple H to hide my selection. And then I can use my brush tool. There we go. Capture software is killing me. I'm going to have to uh, take another break.